Instead of being on the train, he's on the station floor. Medics treat his wounds. Listen as he describes what happened. A blow to my head, um, some swelling, I have a cut over my eyebrow. It started Monday evening at the 14th Street, 7th Avenue, 123 Station by the turnstile. Watch it unfold in this video. Police identify the suspect as 48-year-old Christian Jeffers. The victim says Jeffers bumped into him, started yelling, took out a hammer. NYPD sources say Jeffers is on parole with an active warrant, has 53 prior arrests, including seven felonies. One assault from two years ago includes a hate crime charge. The victim's been riding the trains his whole life. I never really felt significantly threatened until now. Mayor Adams has revamped policing in the transit system, focusing transit police on platforms and trains and sending beat cops into stations. He says change will take time. What I'm saying to New York is, we are not going to have generational failures anymore. It's going to start under this administration, and I'm taking full responsibility of having a safe subway system because I'm a user of that subway system. The number of assaults has been trending up on the subways. Earlier this year, the city and Governor Hochul promised more resources, including mental health outreach teams and social service workers. Donna Lieberman, executive director of the New York Civil Liberties Union, wants to hear more about long-term solutions. What we fear, the um, default from decades of unfortunately experience um, and muscle memory and uh, uh, is going to be criminalization of mental illness, criminalization of poverty,